guys, welcome back to my channel, Raising Health, and I'm Colleen, the coach. Okay, guys, so I'm super excited for today because I am going to teach you something new. And for those of you who watched my video on how to make 90 second bread, oh, there was a lot of interest. So I thought this time I'm going to teach you how to make 90 second peanut butter mug cake. Wow. Okay. So yeah, let me get the show on the road. So guys, I did quite a nice little dry run, if you want to call it that, yesterday when I made this, just to make sure that when I made this video for you guys, it was just perfect and it was really so great honestly and truly so you know I've had a lot of people uh, as usual always like a lot of my clients always asking for you know sweet treats on the weekends um, especially the weekends or for some of my ladies who are struggling with PMS or just bad menstrual cycles or hormonal issues or just whatever guys whatever but you know every now and again we just want to have something nice and sweet I am absolutely a peanut butter junkie, like you have no idea. I love, love, love peanut butter. So making a peanut butter mug cake is exactly what I would look for. And if you think about it, I mean, this is like protein on steroids. You've got your almond flour, you've got your peanut butter. I mean, it's incredible. Okay, so let me get the show on the road. But before I do that, I would just like to thank you. If you're tuning in for the very first time, guys, this is a teaching channel. And I'm here to teach you how to eat right for life. And I'm super amped and excited. So, you know, let's get the show on the road and just push that subscribe button, please. And then every Thursday when a video comes out, you will be get notified. And who knows, good things could just keep happening after that. Okay, and of course, do share and like and comment. Okay, so let's get the show on the road with this peanut butter mug cake. And firstly, you take your one tablespoon of unsalted and unsweetened peanut butter. I got myself a completely natural version of peanut butter without sugar and salt. So guys, so this is super important. Okay, so you've got your one tablespoon of peanut butter and I have one teaspoon of butter that I'm going to quickly stick into the microwave and melt these two together. Don't go away. And put that in for 30 seconds. Okay, so while we're doing that, the next lot of ingredients, you are not going to believe this, guys. It's one, two, three, four, five ingredients, which are literally just sitting here to go into the mug. Honestly, it is that easy to make these treats. Honestly, and you know, we had our one, the one I made yesterday that I told you about. So what we did was, oh, Jim and I, we shared it. By the way, guys, this is super, 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 super filling. Oh, my goodness. So you'll want to share it, okay? So Jim and I, he got home and I was like, whoa, check out my new recipe. And normally, sometimes he pulls medicine face, okay? So when he hears new recipe, he just starts zoning out. So, but I know him now. I know I catch him on this. Uh, but I saw medicine face and I thought to myself, mmm, let's see. So I got some delicious green Greek yogurt and I put in a bit of xylitol and a little bit of peanut butter just to jazz it up a little bit more. And I had some fresh strawberries. Plus, I actually got some frozen berries out the freezer. And I put about two, two, three tablespoons of frozen berries on a pot on the stove and I just melted it a bit. I poured the berry sauce over this mug cake. And then I put on like a nice hefty dollop of this Greek yogurt. And then I put on a few fresh strawberries. I'm telling you now, like I was also quite full last night after dinner. So I wasn't really wanting to have any, but of course I had to taste. I kid you not, we flattened it. Like we absolutely flattened it. It was delicious. Okay, let me go grab that. Let's see. Hmm. So now we are going to just mix it all up so it's all nicely combined okay and then i'm going to chuck our egg in and just get the moisture going so it's okay so then we've got one egg guys this recipe will be in the content below here so don't you worry but you get your pen and paper out because you just could get a tip or two Okay, so then we're going to put in half a teaspoon of our vanilla essence. 
I like to get all the wet ingredients in first so that when I put the flour in, it just kind of and other things. Okay, so we've got our xylitol. We're going to have one tablespoon of xylitol. And we're going to have a teaspoon of baking powder. Make, making sure, guys, I don't use this. Oh, I am not a chef, okay? I'm just like a normal person who does their best to make nice meals, okay? Because I like food to be tasty. I like to have treats. I like things to be delicious. And I like to be in good shape. And what else do I like? I like, oh my goodness, I love tasty food. And I love peanut butter in particular. Last week, I think I was telling you how much I love butter. So I love butter and I love peanut butter. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Okay, it's already even now smelling like, you know, like your granny's cooking, hey? I was terrible as a child. When my mom used to cook, um, I'm sorry, bake. I used to always, I was always trying to grab the, sticking my fingers in, tasting. Oh, I used to love it, love it, love it. And then as life turned out, I wasn't really good at baking. So I had to give it up. But now I'm learning. I'm trying to learn easy, quick, healthy ways so that I can teach you guys as well. And together we can be the best version of ourselves, little wellness warriors. Guys, the consistency is just perfect. It's nice and sticky. Um, push it down a little. I mean, this is I mean, look at that, guys. I'm serious. Okay, I don't want to mess it all over the place. But you can see what I'm talking about. Hey, it looks amazing. Let me put it back. Oh, this is the part that I love the most. And, um, oh, let me just double check something. A little bit of a fright. I thought, I thought that I um, had the microwave on the incorrect um level but all is good and our microwave is our microwave is in the oven our mug cake is in the oven okay i'm just double checking i've got all the ingredients Ta da absolutely perfect okay guys so you know honestly and truly this is how quick and easy it is to whip up a dessert i mean if you're really wanting to go more vegan on this i mean this is a vegan other than the butter you know, you can put in a bit of avocado oil if you would like to go vegan. Because, you know, the avocado oil is just pretty bland. So that would work as well. So, yeah, and you're only needing a teaspoon. So that'll be pretty good. And then if you do really want to go vegan, which I prefer to do most of the time, 90%. 95% of the time I like to go vegan because I just prefer it. But I love this with coconut cream as well. You know, so you can just put on a bit of coconut cream. As I explained earlier, you can get two, three, four, five tablespoons of your frozen blueberries and you can put that straight onto the stove, heat it up a little bit. If you are like me and you like things to be like really nice and sweet, you can put in a little bit of extra xylitol in there if you like, and you can just pour it onto your mug cake. Then you can pour your bit of your coconut milk with it or coconut cream, just depending. But guys, honestly, this is delicious. But let me prove it to you. Get it out of the microwave. Oh my word, guys. Look at this. Oh, I really should have a plate, too. Eh? Mm. Okay, I'm going to get a plate. See, I'm not a chef. I'm just a girl trying to... Have fun. <laughs> My goodness, you guys are not going to believe this, but seriously, look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful peanut butter mug cake. It is, it's, an, oh. I rest my case, guys. If I can do this in a few minutes, seriously, the ingredients, how many ingredients? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ingredients, but easy ingredients, it's not complicated. The stuff you'll have, most of the stuff you should always just be having in the in your pantry anyway. So this is so freaking amazing, guys. Okay, so I hope you make this. If you do make it, please do reach out, tell me. I'd love to love to hear how it went for you. Send me pictures. I love visuals. Um, I'm going to decorate this one pretty well. And I think I'm going to take a photo and I'm going to send it to you. But I'm so excited because I seriously, I proved it to you. I prove to you, I'm going to taste this. Uh, oh my gosh. No, seriously. Mm. My word. Mm. It almost tastes like it has coconut in it. 
but there is no coconut. I'm supposed you could put a bit of coconut in. Absolutely delicious, guys. I really, and it's moist. Oh, it really is. Oh, perfection. Guys, please give it a go. I'd love to hear more. And if you have friends who would enjoy a peanut butter mug cake, please pass this video on to them. And um, let's hope we can spread the love. But guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, like, share, do all the all bits and pieces. And I really look forward to connecting with you again soon. This is so nice. My mouth's watering and I cannot talk. So let me go. Ciao for now, guys.